So today I'm doing a property tour of Margaritaville, the resort in Orlando, Florida. If you're coming from the International Airport here in Orlando, you can expect around a 40 minute commute. And if you're planning on doing a trip to Disney World, it is only about 11-ish minutes from the resort. So actually very close. What's nice about the location is that you're close to a lot of convenient things. If you need a supermarket, there's a Publix, there's a Target, there's also a Wawa. Tons of little restaurants and quick little eateries, as well as full-scale restaurants. On the left-hand side, you'll see the main entrance into the resort. The lobby is incredibly massive in size. There's a ton of seating areas, lounging areas, just places to hang out. I was very fortunate to visit the resort during the holiday season. So as you can see, they have all their decorations. Things just look a little extra festive. Now on the right hand side is the front desk. That's where you would check in or out. Right next to the front desk, you have the Margaritaville store, kind of like a little gift shop. Straight down, right by that giant flip-flop, you have Euphoria, which is one of three restaurants located on property. On the other side of the giant flip-flop, you have Provisions, which is more of a cafe. Now they have indoor seating, but my favorite is the outdoor seating situation. You can literally walk outside, catch a view of the pool, the palm trees, and it's Florida, so the weather usually is amazing. So that's exactly what I ended up doing this morning. I had the coconut mango smoothie, 10 out of 10, and the breakfast sandwiches were on point. To give you some perspective as to what's around us, so you have one of the pools, and then past the pool, kind of on the left-hand side, you'll notice a bunch of houses. These are actually the cottages that you can rent through Margaritaville. The cottages are an excellent choice, especially if you're traveling with a larger family or just a giant group in general. All of the cottages feature full kitchens, which is great when you don't want to have to eat out all the time. You can get groceries and cook right at home. And now for the room tour. What's really convenient is the key card they give you comes in a bracelet form. Now when we enter the room on the right side is your bathroom. It is equipped with a sliding door. When we walk inside, you'll see that there's a door which just leads to the toilet. If you travel with a lot of people and you're in the same room together, you know how great of a feature this is. Then on the other side, you have the shower and then you do get a double sink vanity. The shower is nice and open. You have the stationary shower head and then also a handheld shower head that you can use. The towels are stored in the vanity. Then we do have these little doors that open up. That's where you'll find the blow dryer, some extra toilet paper, and then your trash can. Then right across from the bathroom is your closet space. The doors roll open to close. On the right side, it's your traditional closet. You can stick your luggage in here, hang up your clothes, all of that great stuff. Then if we mosey on to the left side of the closet, do, 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 you have your safe, an ironing board, and your iron. Across from the closet, you do have a huge mirror, my type of mirror. And then we'll make our way over to the main room. We have two queen size beds. And across from that is a little seating area, office area with a mounted TV. Between the two beds, you do have a USB port and an outlet for any of your electronics. Each room features a tablet it displays the time, the weather, you can get messages, set up alarms, play music. Definitely something fun and different to have inside of a hotel room. So if we go over by the desk, you'll see that they do provide bottled water. They have one of those canisters that you can put ice into. 
keep your beverages cold. We have some drawers for additional storage space. When you check in, they give you this handout. It's a hotel map, but then also the activities throughout the week, throughout the day. On the right side of the desk, you have kind of a coffee nook. It has your Carrick station, K-cups, more bottled water. Then if we open up these guys, you have your mini fridge. Next, we have the balcony. Once on the balcony, you'll see that they provide you with two brightly colored Adirondack chairs and a little table. You do get a really nice view of the property. I really enjoy hotels that have balconies. There's something about waking up, going out on your balcony, drinking your coffee, just really waking up, taking in the day, watching the sunrise. It's definitely one of my favorite things. So there's a really cool feature in the room that basically lets the person on the outside of your front door know if you don't want to be disturbed, or it lets you know if housekeeping is inside your room and maybe you need to stay out for a few more minutes. Lastly, you have a couple more amenities. You have Fins Up, which is their fitness center. It's literally located right next to the spa. And lastly, we have the third restaurant on property called the Salty Rim. All of these places are located right near the pool closest to the cottages.